What's going on guys and welcome back to another video with your boy Jordan, your online physique coach. I gotta be honest, today I'm going to have to shed a little bit of tough love onto you guys, from me to you, because you need it. So here are five words that I, as a fitness coach, do not like to hear. Number one, advice. I just need some good advice. Some good advice. What this really means is I'm not committed and I'm gonna ask you a ton of questions and then I'm gonna come back every two to three months and ask you those same ton of questions when I could just go and watch one of your 200 YouTube videos that are completely free or I could buy one of your eight books which two of those are actually free as well but I, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna message you in your inbox and just I'm gonna talk to you for like 30 or 40 minutes take your time take all this data from your brain hole and then I'm not gonna use it and I'm gonna come back in two or three months and then I'm gonna do it again. But I'm never actually gonna act on any of that because I don't actually act, I just I just think. I don't actually do, I just think. Alright, you're the type of person that needs to actually get up off of your ass and actually do something. Not just not just collect more data to get better. Like actually act on the data. Knowledge is only power when you use the knowledge. Like you use it. Number two, lazy. Yep. I was I was just being lazy. I'm I'm gonna admit it. I was just being lazy. Oh really? That that's what you were you were you were being lazy? Oh, I, I could solve your fitness problems really 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 easily. Get off of your ass. Get get off. Like get up and do something. Boom. Instant gratification. Instant weight loss. Isn't that what my generation wants? Number three, chill. Yeah, I'm I'm just I'm just chilling, man. Just just chilling. Just chill. Just. So this word chilling typically implies that you're doing absolutely nothing with your time. Like you're not actually spending time with a loved one or spending your time wisely or using your time for something that you enjoy. You're just like literally sitting there thinking of what you could be doing, but you're not actually doing anything. Go do something. Like do something physical. Please. I have no chill. Am I too hardcore or are you too soft? Number four, bored. Hey man, I'm just... I'm just chilling, bored. How the hell could you possibly be bored? For the love of God, get up and go do something. Most of you are bored as hell because your job is easy and unfulfilling. Your goals are way too easy. They're not even really goals or you just don't even have goals. If you find yourself bored, take this time to assess yourself, assess your life, and set some new goals. Literally, go to the gym and pick up some weights. Number five. Cheat. Yeah, I just cheated on my diet yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that. Really no big deal. I just, I can't get mad at myself because, yeah, then that would, that's really, you know, yeah, I just cheated. It yeah, happens. Happens to everybody all the time. Cheating is just part of life. Everybody cheats. Just cheat. Literally, if you're dieting during the week, and then you're just cheating during the weekends, and you're not really paying attention to what you're eating, you're just eating a bunch of crap, like, during the weekends, just, just quit because... You're spinning your wheels and you're wasting your time and you're getting nowhere. Just stop cheating, period. So in life, cheating in any part of life, fitness or not, literally implies sleaziness. Cheating is never good and you don't need a cheat meal. Don't don't have a cheat meal, don't have a cheat day. A better way of looking at this is free day or a refeed day or non-counting day, but it it's not a cheat day. You don't need cheat days. Just because you were eating slightly more one day of the week does not mean that you were cheating. Cheating, the word cheating, implies negativity. It's bad. It also starts to create a negative relationship with food. You don't want that. As we know, food, eating, dieting, it's mainly a mental thing. And cheating is, is bad for that mental thing. But hey guys, I've got to be real with you. Some of you are just wasting your time and you're not going to do anything whatsoever until something major in your life happens to move you forward. Like literally a life event smacks you in the face and says, Hey Bob, you need to get up off of your ass and actually do something. Go after your fitness goals. Go after those goals. For me, it was getting jumped and humiliated in front of everyone and just getting the shit kicked out of me. After that, I was like, all right, it's, it's time to either just die or do something. Some of you are just lazy as hell, and you're just sitting around collecting advice that you know that you're not going to use, but you want to at least feel like you're going to use it. It's like, it's like oh, I'm going to get this advice, but I'm not actually going to use it, but I'm going to make myself feel good about just getting this advice for free from someone that has hundreds of videos and eight books that I could just get without having to spend this person's time that's really busy all day. My friends, time is the only thing in life that we can't get back. Don't waste mine, and I won't waste yours. Hey guys, if you know anybody that needed to see this video, that needs to hear this video, feel free to please share the video. I want to make sure this video gets to the right people and actually smacks them in the face 
so they get up off of their asses and actually do something. I know I cussed a lot in this video, but the whole point was to get you going, to get you thinking, to get you realizing like, oh wow, maybe I am doing a little bit too much of this or too much of that, and I need to actually reassess and think about things and move forward. Like always, like if you enjoyed this video, comment if you have any questions or concerns or anything at all, I'll help you guys absolutely any questions that you have, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. All love. Seriously, I still love you guys. I know this was a little bit tough love on you guys, but I still love you guys. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this episode and you're ready to take action, you are ready to take action on your fitness goals, go ahead and click the link below and join our fitness group. So this is a group for people that already have a little bit of a basis of how to lift weights. You, you know the form, you know how to execute the lifts, you have a basic knowledge on diet and micronutrients. You are someone that is known to get shit done and you are ready to get shit done right now. You are legitimately ready right now to change your life. This group is not for people that feel sorry for themselves. This group is not for people that sit around and waste time and procrastinate. This group is not for pessimistic people that they don't believe that they can accomplish things. This group is not for people that don't believe that anyone needs coaches, that groups are stupid, and that communities to help you move forward are dumb. Guys, if you want to join a group where everyone is holding each other accountable, everyone is helping each other move forward, we're just getting things done. Like, we're not procrastinating. We're going after all of our fitness goals right now. Seriously, guys, if you are ready to start taking action right now, then go ahead and click the first link in the description box below. Join in the group and let's get started. Give me your forever.